Who is this crystal fairy, and is the story based on a real person? She is real, yeah. Um, I don't remember her uh, civilian name, is that how you'd say it? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I don't know her name, I forgot. Um, I came up with Isabel because it sounded like that. What was like a similar? Abigail. Abigail, or like uh, maybe it was Abigail. Annabelle. 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 We don't. I don't remember. She's real. She's probably on her mid thirties now. Uh, she is from San Francisco. That's what she said when I met her. And uh, yeah, her fairy name was Crystal Fairy. And I don't know where she's at. I've been trying to uh, find her on online, and yeah, she, she doesn't come out. Yeah. So she has no idea about the story. I hope she has an idea. I mean, when it's really going to be released uh, now, so soon, I, I hope um, she finds out. Friends tell her, that, oh my God, so you remember when you went by the name of Crystal Fairy? There's a movie, you went to Chile, right? And she's like, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> and then she goes and sees herself in a movie. I wonder if it's the kind of thing where she only called herself Crystal Fairy, like on, the, on a whim, like in the moment she just invented that. And nobody else knows her as that. Do mm. you think that's possible? Maybe. I don't know really the fairy world in the West Coast. I don't know the rules. I don't know if you like are baptized with a fairy name like that or you come up with it. You can change it every week. Michael, have you ever met anybody like her? Well, no, not really. I guess Gabby Hoffman is the closest thing to Crystal Fairy that I've, I've met. So you met her while you were traveling through Chile? I met her in Santiago. I met her in Santiago right before we took off to this uh, trip to the desert and I invited her to come with us and she came and uh, we had a great time. Like it's fiction, it's, 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 it's a fiction. The confrontational aspects of the relationship between Jamie, that would be me I guess, uh, and Crystal are fiction just to make the movie a movie. But uh, we got along. Is San Pedro anything like ayahuasca? No, it's not like ayahuasca. Ayahuasca uh, has another compound. Uh, San Pedro is just mescaline. And you find it in peyote. Peyote is like a more common cactus where people uh, get the mescaline. Um, you know, uh, Carlos Castaneda and like all of the, the bi his bio biography. Um, yeah, no, it's not. It, ayahuasca is much stronger. You need to lay down and chill. San Pedro is, could be very mild. Did you guys actually try um, San Pedro while you were on set? Did you guys actually take the drug? Well, you didn't. Well. Not, not there, not on set. Uh, he did on set, but I didn't. How did you feel from? Very underwhelmed. I guess we had, <laughs> we had been <laughs> we had been leading up to it for a week, and I was really nervous and you know about working, and and I didn't know what the effect of the masculine was going to be like, and then it really, I think it didn't work. Yeah, it didn't it work. It was like a, a false batch or something, because none of us felt it, except for Gabby, who drank a different batch than, than me and the guys. So maybe it's because of the great anticipation that you didn't feel anything. The anticipation probably overshadowed the... Uh, that and also the, the fact that yeah. they are working, you know, like if you're working, unless you take like a huge amount, if you're working and you take some, you're gonna be really focused. It's not that you're gonna start like doing like animal noises or like, you know, like running in circles. Like it would be weird. Breaking yeah, your teeth, falling down, bringing your teeth. Yeah, down like. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like directing Gabby on it? Um, it was actually fun. I mean, like, um, whenever you said cut, she would like you're like, okay, we need to go again, and then she was like, just like touching a rock from really close or staring at something or like looking at her hands. Uh, but uh, she could like, as she says it, like she felt that it was like a cape that she could like put on and off and like, just like she could be like really high and like feeling the... Turn the volume down? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, she could uh, really, she had control over her state of mind. And uh, it was wonderful. I mean, her eyes are really different. You know, you can tell her pupils are very dilated and... Um, and um, yeah, it, it felt so real to have her high like that uh, under the effects of mescaline and shooting a scene that was a character under the effects of mescaline. It felt amazing. So it's like it was such a gift from an actress, from an actor and the kids too. I mean, like the fact that they went for it, even though it didn't work, it's, it's really a gift for a director because it's such a great experiment. I understand that you guys improvised the script quite a bit. Uh, what was that like? Yeah, with, with the dialogue, we were uh, just finding it in the moment. And um, you know, we knew everything that was happening in a scene and basically everything we had to get across. 
In the film, uh, you guys talk about your greatest fears. I want to know what is both of your greatest fears in life. Well, sharks. Uh, the fact I don't that they want to hang out with a shark. Yeah. Swimming underneath you. <laughs> no, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, my fear is just to... Um, <clears throat> um, uh, forget about my priorities. Like, yeah, like, yeah. get confuse my priorities. I think now I have them kind of under control and uh, it's leading me in a good path and of like, uh, yeah, I think finding peace is like my greatest, my greatest uh, goal. So yeah, not finding it or like taking a path that is not going to lead me there. It would be my fear. Yes. Wow. That's nice. Yeah. You, Michael? Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> straying, straying from the path. Yeah.